You know, we're so excited to have this exhibition opening in Barcelona. The exhibition is filled with amazing artifacts and costumes. And what we really wanted to do was share with fans almost a journey through the world of Game of Thrones. And so you'll see different settings and scenes all inspired from the show and all of the seasons of the show. And you'll see amazing costumes, incredible details. So we're just so excited to be able to share that here in Barcelona. I just uh, had a walk through and it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It, it, it really feels like uh, you're on set again. And uh, what I especially like is, is the lighting concept because everything's quite, quite uh, dark and moody. So it's, it, it feels like on the original sets, which is cool. The lovely thing for the fans is they'll get to see up close just how stunning the detail is on each one of these costumes. I think it's fantastic. I think um, it will allow the fans to get a real feel of the show. I mean, there's some areas uh, that they can tour around, for example, uh, the area beyond the wall, and you can actually smell the outfits. So it's a, sen it's a sensory experience on every level. Well, many fans probably are aware that much of the show has been actually shot in Spain. And when we began putting together the idea for the exhibition, we started reaching out to different partners and people who are interested. And Barcelona was right there in line, right at the very beginning. And we're big fans of Spain, we're big fans of, of Barcelona in general. So we were able to get together and we're just excited to be able to have the premiere here in Barcelona. I mean, for an actor, the script is everything. So, and if, if the scripts are really good, then there isn't much acting required, actually. But because um, people always say that they like my character because he's mysterious and um, you don't really know what he's up to. But that's actually something that is a, it, it, it's in the story, you know? He, he's doing different things and it's not necessarily explained why, why he's doing certain things at a certain time. So that's what creates the mystery and, and what, makes, what gets people hooked. Well, one of the great things about the show is that it is so, so elaborate and so, so detailed. When, when, when you're on set as an actor, I mean, this is a, a part of the Hall of Faces. Um, the original set uh, was like may maybe the size of this exhibition, uh, just the Hall of Faces. And um, if you as an actor, if you just step on set, it's immediately you're uh, like in this special atmosphere and um, you automatically you change your speech pattern and, and, and your voice. It was like in a, it's almost felt like being in a cathedral. So you, you speak very, very softly and you move differently and so all those uh, costumes and, and, and set designs they add a lot um, to the performance and make it easier for actors to, um, to, to play their parts. It was only whenever we got to see the private side of my character that that I found very very difficult to play uh, because when you're playing a man who you find out uh, takes pleasure in hurting children. Uh, it's not fun, uh, but it was certainly a challenge and probably one of the greatest challenges of my acting career and for that I will always be very, very grateful to the boys for the storyline they gave me. But for me, Game of Thrones has been probably the best television show I've ever seen and I believe now we're entering a golden age of television. You see so much more being invested in, in television shows now. And I think Game of Thrones has set the bar for television shows to come, and I think it's set a very high bar. Yes, what we've done is we've taken original costumes and props and swords. We've brought them all together in this exhibition. And many things that you see in the sets that, uh, that are throughout the exhibition are real. Other things we've had to recreate because they're still being utilized for the last season. But you're really going to feel like what it's like to step onto these amazing sets and to 
experience the costumes and the props and the armory up close, which is really fun. One of the things that fans will notice is that there's a lot of atmosphere in this exhibition to, to really immerse you. You'll have sound effects, you'll smell different things when you go into you know, the Castle Black, you'll smell some of the mud and the peat moss. So we've really worked very hard to create a very immersive uh, experience for everybody.